Okay, don't get the wrong impression. Trees are important. Duh. Every year I'm reminded of this because of the BC wildfires that cover most of Alberta in smog. Here's a picture from last year. Now you guys in the States are probably aware that this is a big problem in California as well. And while more trees are being burned each summer in North America and deforestation remains a problem in the South American Amazon, there is hope for a global movement on the importance and preservation of trees. Africa is building a great wall of trees to stop the spread of the Sahara Desert. And the YouTube community has set a goal of planting 20 million trees worldwide in 2020, teamtrees.org. That's all great and all, but what in the name of Rupert Neves does this have to do with recording? Recording. Well, trees make a lot of really cool sounds, and it's time for us engineers to get up and appreciate trees for the OG drum machines that they are. So watch till the end of this video because I'm going to show you how to record field samples or found sounds, how I edit and process those samples, then we'll build a virtual tree instrument and layer a few of those samples into a song. And then I'd love for you guys to head over to teamtrees.org and make a donation if you're able to. Link is in the description. This video's theme is trees. Duh. So I started by thinking about all the ways that you can make sound from all of the different parts of the tree. You got the leaves, the sticks, planks, logs, and bark. And then I went outside to collect some materials and made a quick montage of myself gathering some percussion samples. Let's check it out. So we're here in Logic, and I'm gonna start by auditioning these samples and trimming out my favorites. For this, I'm gonna use the marquee tool in the right click or command key position. I'll select the sample, and I want this sample to begin right at the transient, so I'll hold shift and click the right arrow button, and this snaps the selection to the closest transient. Then to separate this region, simply double click. Then I'll switch to the fade tool and add some crossfades to the end to avoid any clicks and pops. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and do this for each sample and here are the results. I've layered in a few samples for the kick and the snare sound, making sure to line up the phase. That's really important to get the biggest sound. So for the kick, I layered together our tree trunk sound, as well as dropping the bag of leaves. For the snare sound, I layered together me hitting the plank of wood, the wood log, as well as some snapping sticks. And this layering is gonna help fill out the frequency gaps a bit more and create a bigger, more comprehensive percussive effect. Now, for most of the processing, it was just simple EQ, adding a little lows or highs where necessary, a bit of compression and saturation, just really bring out that snap and thicken up the percussion element a little bit more. But for our tree trunk kick, I used a free plugin called Thump, by Metric Halo. It's a sub frequency oscillator and I used it to add a bass tone to the low end just to add a little bit of extra sub impact. Next we're going to bounce those samples and load them into Logic's sampler instrument. And because these are supposed to be drum samples, I bounce them with normalizing on, which is gonna make them play back at the highest possible output level. I like to bounce the kit samples into a labeled folder so you can easily drop them back into the sampler. Once you've done that, you can set which key is gonna trigger which sample. I'm choosing these notes because they line up with my Akai MIDI controller pads. Also because they're drums, you wanna make sure that one shot is turned on. You can also mix the volume and panning of your samples within the sampler window. Then save your instrument so you can use it in different sessions. 
This is a song I'm working on called Fingers to the Bone. It was written by a friend of mine, Mark Bowman, and it's about the relentless work ethic of Alberta. Albertans love their oil, Alberta's very industrial, so I wanted to create the impression of people hard at work chipping away in unison. So I started by adding some samples to reinforce the drums. I used our tree stump as the kick on beat one and beat three, and then I used a metal pipe actually on beat two and four, and then I added in our wood plank snare on beat four just for a different backbeat sound. So let's have a listen to how those work together with the drums. Me down, but my hands will get me by. I did a few other things to sell the effect. I added a factory steam whistle to sound off right before the chorus and added a pickup truck to pan across because the chorus is signifying that mental transition between mind numbing weekday monotony and unquenchable weekend indulgence. Words are so costly and my pockets are so dry But the industries are booming and these fumes will get me high Time equals money and money is on my mind I lie to keep running but I never like what I find If you don't like the words I say I hope that you don't mind Vox Popular, Vox Stable say get back on So you can imagine it's Friday and this is somebody going home after a long, hard week of work. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna to donate to teamtrees.org, check the description below for a link. I made a donation myself, the amount of my favorite microphone. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe here to the Learn Audio Engineering YouTube channel for fresh weekly content. Big ups to my supporters on Patreon. For just $1 a month, you can have a say in future video content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. The world gets worse and life can feel so unfair It's easy to believe